happening guys we're back for another video on the channel here today and before we get going i had a commenter actually say you don't have any coffee in there why do you even have a mug actually i do and uh i'll take a sip of it now okay cool now we are going to get into this video so today we've got a topic that is super important although it's something you might not think about until you run into this problem and that is backing everything up in davinci resolve not only your davinci resolve projects but also your media files and just your computer in general I've had a lot of people reaching out to me lately through comments and emails with uh, problems where something's maybe gone wrong in Resolve or something's gone wrong on their computer. Most of the time it's been Resolve issues, but they've lost everything. They lost all their projects they were working on, and I feel really bad for everybody who runs into this problem. And the only way that you can really get around it is to make sure you're backing everything up. So not the most fun topic to talk about, but I'm just going to show you how to make sure that things are getting backed up here in DaVinci Resolve, how to back up your database and just in general how I back up my computer as a whole, as well as my media files and all that kind of stuff. So let's jump on into DaVinci Resolve. I got a blank project open here, and I'm gonna show you how to make sure you're set to back things up automatically here in DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We have a blank project here, no media, nothing set up yet here in the project. I'm just sitting in the edit tab. So let's make sure that DaVinci Resolve is set to save changes automatically, so that way we never lose anything in case DaVinci Resolve crashes. And we also want to make sure that our projects are getting backed up. So in order to make sure that we're set up for success here, let's come on up to DaVinci Resolve on the top left here. Click, come on down to Preferences. Now here in Preferences, we're going to want to change a few things. So come on over to the Users section. And we want to come down to Project Save and Load. And under this area right here, Save Settings, you want to make sure you have Live Save turned on. That's going to ensure that DaVinci Resolve saves every time you make a change, basically. Now, if it bogs down your machine too much, okay, you may not want to turn it on, and you may want to make sure you hit uh, Save often. But I found that for me, working with Live Save turned on has been a huge help because anytime DaVinci Resolve has crashed out for some reason and I've had Live Save on, you don't lose any work. So make sure you've got that on. Project Backup. So this is going to be DaVinci Resolve automatically backing up your project for you. So you want to make sure you turn that on. And by default, I don't know why these options are not turned on, but they're not. So turn it on. And when you look down here at these couple items right below there, you want to make sure that you set how long you want DaVinci Resolve to perform the backups. So for me, I have every five minutes. If that's too often for you or not enough, you can change that. Then you have hourly backups for the past how long? How long do you want to save your hourly backups? So for me, I have 10 hours. So say a day's worth of work or something, I want to make sure I save a backup for each hour. So make sure you got that uh, set to whatever you want there. And then daily backups. So it's going to save one backup per day for how long? I think the default is like a day or something. I don't know. It's pretty short. So I change it to 30 days because within a month, I'm usually good to go and uh, my project's done by then. So you want to make sure that you change that so that it'll save a backup for as long as you want. And then also don't forget your project backup location. So where are you gonna store all these things? For me, I have everything getting saved to my external Samsung T5 SSD hard drive because I don't wanna clog up my machine with all these files and have them sitting there for a while and up to 30 days here. So I set a directory on my external hard drive. So make sure you've got these settings set and that's gonna make sure that you're saving automatically and that DaVinci Resolve is backing up your projects. So now let's close that and let's jump over into the project manager, which is the little house icon down here at the bottom right. Go ahead and click on that, it brings up your project manager window here. Now you have one database for sure because that's where your projects are gonna live and you may have multiple databases depending on your setup. So you wanna make sure that you back up your database. How do you do that? Well, highlight your database by clicking on it. Oh, and by the way, if you don't see the database, click on this little icon right here. Sometimes you don't see the databases, so show hide databases, click on that. So you want to highlight your database and you want to come up to this little icon right here. It says backup. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to be able to save it wherever you want. And it's going to save a file that looks like this. Maybe you want to name it with a date, name it whatever you want. But this is the window where you tell it where you want to save that backup. So what does backing up a database do? So it takes all of your project files, which is your specific file for a specific project that tells DaVinci Resolve where to look for all your assets. It takes that file and it backs up all of them, all of them at once. So your whole database, everything that's in there, takes it, backs it up, and makes a copy of it. And these files generally, from what I found, are not that big. So it's good to do this, I don't know, every couple weeks or something to make sure you, all your projects are backed up in addition to the individual projects backing up while you're working on them. So definitely back up your database, super important. 
So now let's quickly talk about how do I load a backup if something goes wrong and I need to bring up a backup. Let's jump back into Resolve, check it out. So we're still here in the project manager and this is where we're gonna actually load some project backups if we need to. So let's say you crashed out, you need to reload a project or something. You can come and select your project. Then you can right click on your project and come down to project backups. And if DaVinci Resolve was saving the backups for you, you're gonna see them in this window. Now, if you do this and you don't see anything in this window, then that means maybe you didn't have your settings correct and DaVinci Resolve was not backing up your project. So to load it up, you would just click on any one of these and go ahead and click load. So that's how you load up a specific project backup file. Now, what if you wanted to load up a database? Maybe you crashed out, something happened, your database got corrupt, whatever it might be. You wanted to reload a database. Well, all you have to do is come up to the next icon, which is right up here, that's called restore. Go ahead and click on that, find your database file, and then you're gonna be able to restore that and you should be good to go. It should bring back up all your projects from the point that you saved your database. So another thing to keep in mind is that DaVinci Resolve does not automatically back up your database. So you're going to have to do that manually. Like I said, every couple of weeks, once a month or once a week, whatever it is, you want to go and back up that database just in case. It's better to have it not need it than need it not have it, right? So now you saw how we kind of keep everything backed up here in DaVinci Resolve. But what about all your media files? Because your media files are not actually part of DaVinci Resolve. You can store those wherever you want. For me, I store them on an external hard drive, Samsung T5 SSD. I've talked about it all the time. Great drive. So let's say I want to back up all my stuff, say from my computer, uh, as well as, you know, all my media files. How do I do that? Well, for me, I've got two different ways of backing all that up. One is I'm on a Mac, so I use Time Machine. So anything on my physical computer gets backed up to Time Machine automatically, happens in the background. I don't have to worry about it, and it's just taken care of for me. So as long as I got that set up, I know my machine is getting backed up. So you want to make sure that you've got your machine getting backed up in case your whole machine just takes a dump and uh, it, it goes down the tubes, right? Something can happen. Your machine can die on you or whatever. I've had people reach out to me with that issue too. So make sure your whole machine is backed up somehow. That's important. So for me, in addition to all the files I have on my machine, I've got my one external hard drive. Then I also have a Drobo with like terabytes of footage and photos and all kinds of stuff. So I need to make sure I've got all that backed up too. So for that backup, I use a service called Backblaze and it's an online service and I really like it. It's great. I've been using it for years and it's great because you don't have to think about it. You just put on the app on your machine. It'll automatically go through anything that's on your machine as well as any drives connected to your machine. Again, there's different accounts and all that stuff, but I just have a personal account. It's everything connected to my computer will get backed up and it's unlimited storage for about 60 bucks a year. So uh, let me just jump over to their website real quick. I'll show you that. It's not sponsored by them. It's just a product that I use that I think is uh, really good and has been super helpful. And it's something I don't have to think about. You set it and you forget it. It's automatically backing up your stuff offsite. You don't have to worry about uh, extra hard drives or storing things around your house. And heaven forbid something happens to your house or, or you have a fire or something crazy like that. You've got all your files stored offsite. So you don't have to worry about uh, trying to get anything, uh, you know, should something happen at your house. So real quick, just jumping over to Backblaze's website. Here is their site. I'll link to it in the description below. I also have an affiliate link that I'll leave down there. So if you want to sign up and try it, you can try that out. Um, but you've got personal backups, business backups, um, other B2 cloud storage and other things. But what I'm signed up for is the personal backup. And it just works out great for me because like I said, you don't have to think about it. You can try it for free. And it uh, looks like a $6 a month here. I think, like I said, I pay $60 for the year, um, but it backs up. You've got the option to change how fast it backs up, which I like because I've used other services where it just takes like two months to back up the amount of footage and terabytes that I've got. But it's a lot quicker using Backblaze. You can speed things up. And I really like that about it. If you need to restore files, you can download individual files. You can put it on a flash drive, get a hard drive, uh, all different ways of getting your data back and restoring things if you need to. And let's just click on the pricing here real quick. Let's see, yeah, so $60 for the year, or you can do a two year for $110. Hey, I should actually do that two year one. Why am I doing that? I could save some more bucks, right? And so could you. Another thing I really like about Backblaze is they've got a great app for your phone. So say you're out and about, you know, you need a document. Well, everything that I have on my computer and my hard drives is all backed up to the cloud, to Backblaze. So I can go to the app, find what I need, grab that document, maybe it's a, uh, phone number, maybe it's a, I don't know, birth certificate, I don't know, whatever it might be. You find it on your app and boom, you got it with you all the time. So that's super convenient. And uh, believe it or not, I actually use that feature all the time as I just hit the microphone there. But anyway, that is my backup system here. 
I highly recommend you guys get set up to back up your stuff so if something happens, your computer to DaVinci Resolve, whatever it might be, you don't lose all your stuff. I've heard too many stories of people losing everything because something goes wrong, something crashes with their computer, and man, I feel bad for everybody that that happens to. But you gotta set yourself up for success here in case that does happen, that you've got all the files backed up and everything is accessible for the unfortunate event that something goes wrong. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up for me. Would just subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Make sure you back up all your stuff. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. No, seriously, there really is coffee in here. I mean, if I could tip it over and show you, I would. Seriously, there's coffee in here. And honestly, I probably drink way too much coffee a day. Probably way too much. But I got kids that keep me up like half the night, you know? So, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? I'd be down here like a zombie. Whew. Anyways.